Alright you guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing a complete rig build out for my Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 6K. Stay tuned for the build. Alright you guys, so as you can see here, we have the complete disassembled rig for my Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 6K, my brand new camera. We're going to go ahead and do a complete rig build out from shoulder mount to quick release to handheld to gimbal. This may seem a little overwhelming at first, but don't worry. We're gonna go ahead and show you how it's done. So first, let's go ahead and clear this table. We're gonna go ahead and start with the foundation of the build, which is the camera itself. In three, two, one. All right, you guys, so as you can see here, we have the brand new Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 6K. This is the foundation of the build, and we're gonna go ahead and start rigging it up. So, first thing you're going to need is, obviously, the cage. You're going to need a full cage system, or a half cage system, depending on what you wanna do. Uh, I'll go ahead and leave all the part numbers in the video in the description uh, as well as on the screen as I'm doing this build. So you're going to need an Allen wrench. Don't know the size, but if uh, you get the cage, it's going to have its own here as well. So I usually just keep that in there. So the first thing you do is you come from the back. The small rig has its logo is going to be the front. So we're gonna go ahead and slide that in here. We're gonna slot this in the camera. I went ahead and found the correct screw. So you're gonna find something like this. And this goes in here. All right, so we got the cage. It's got multiple mounting points, different size threads, quarter inch, three eighth inch. The next part is going to be the top handle. It's got the NATO rails installed. We're gonna go ahead and get this on there. I like to have my handle as a back handle, as you can see here so I can grab it easily. So we're gonna get that aligned right about there. Tighten it on, I love the NATO rail system. It's really nice and secure and easy to get accessories on and off. So one of the most important pieces to kind of get us onto this quick release system that I've built out is going to be the dual base plate. So the dual base plate system comes with two base plates and it comes with the two 15 millimeter rod clamps to get that rail system inside the four screws, different sized Allen wrench, your plate to your tripod, and the quick release system of your choice. We went with the Manfrotto 200 PL quick release adapter and plate. First, what we're gonna do is take the already assembled top half and we're gonna go ahead and connect this screw right here. What I use for anything, any screws that have this little um, line that you have, to, you have to use a quarter or a screw, flathead screwdriver to attach, I use a tool called the Rabbit Key. Uh, made for filmmaking. Uh, you can attach it to your keychain so you have, always have it on you and it fits exactly in the thread. Now we can just go ahead and plop on the quick release plate and voila, we're good there screws that come with the base plate. Make sure you do not lose any of these. These are very important. You're gonna have to order more if you do lose them. Never rush when you're building out a rig like this. This is more of a cinema rig than a run and gun setup. So you definitely want these a little tighter. From here, you're going to take your tripod plate and go ahead and get this popped in. Cool, so there's the plate. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna take the quick release adapter and put it on here. Again, all the foundations of these plates, make sure they're nice and tight. So now we can get that camera. We lock that up. You can see we have the system. We got our tripod plate. We've got our dual base plate system with the rods. Then we got our quick release adapter right here. So now, no matter, once you lock it up, it won't come out, but hit that switch. Unlock and now you're handheld. We're going to start hooking up stuff on the rails as you can see here We're going with the 16 inch aluminum alloy rail system 
to fully rig this bad boy out. First things first, we're gonna go ahead and mount up shoulder pad. Another piece by Small Rig. Small Rig logo is gonna go in the front. We're gonna slide these rods in. Now we're gonna go ahead and put on the V-mount adapter plate. We're gonna go and slide this in. Sits flush right on top. I personally like lay my V-mount battery flat because you still need to access the back of the screen in order to change up a few things. Camera settings, exposure, and all that stuff. All right, so you go ahead and slide it in there. Now we're gonna go ahead and put on a lens. We are using the Sigma Art 18 to 35 millimeter f 2.8. This is a universal lens mount support, so we're gonna go ahead and throw that on there. You definitely do not want to put the lens support on the focus ring. That will definitely cause issues. Now we're gonna go ahead and throw on this small rig. T5 SSD holder, which is also, attach that right there. Since we'll be shooting in 6K, clamp it down. Make sure that's secure, and then we got that on there. And now, we are going to go ahead and attach these up. This is the small rig dual handle kit. You're gonna to want to make sure you grab a Phillips head screwdriver and screw in all these mounting points, because when I got them, they were a tad bit loose, and as I was holding the shoulder mount, I could feel it kind of wobble. So once you tightened it, there was no problem there. May have just gotten shifted and unloosened in shipping, so no big deal long as it works. They're all attached by the rosette system with the little claws and you can adjust to whatever you like. You just unloosen it, tighten it down whenever you're, wherever you see fit. So we're gonna attach these to the 15 millimeter rod system. We're gonna be hooking up the Tilta Nucleus Nano. Hook this up here. So the reason I'm actually using this, I didn't have to before, I could usually just hook up the motor onto the 15 millimeter rails, is that since I put the quick release adapter plate, we have to kind of elevate the motor a little bit so it can actually reach the lens. Delta Nucleus Nano motor. So this slides onto the rail right here. We're gonna go ahead and hook up the motor to the lens. So raising that gave me just about enough room to attach the motor. Magic arm by Small Rig. This is what's going to attach the monitor. And now, the fall of focus. We're going to mount it right side of the cage. Line it up, slide it in, lock it down. So now, we're gonna go ahead and hook up all the cables. We're using an external power bank on top of the V-mount to power the motor. So, here is the rig fully built out. It is a beast of a system. We're gonna go ahead and show you how I hold it. We are unloosening the tripod security. Pop that in. Slide it out, and we're rocking and rolling. See, we got our EVF mount system here. And go ahead and calibrate the nucleus motor. It's calibrating now. Okay, so I did say that you are able to mount this uh, into three different styles. So the first one you already saw. On the shoulder mount, we're gonna go ahead and slide this plate onto possibly my favorite tripod I've used so far. I love the ability to side load it. You don't need to go in from the front uh, when loading the plate onto here. So whenever you side load it, it snaps on. Secure that bad boy. And you're good to go, you're rocking and rolling. You get smooth pans. Smooth tilts. It's rocking. Hit the follow focus here. All right, so in order to get to handheld from the tripod, once you're mounted on here, you just hit the quick release latch and 
voila. So I know that we are currently connected to by the DTAP, power off from the DTAP, and then I've got my, I'm still rolling, I've got my Canon LPE6 battery in here, so that gives me about 30 to 45 minutes handheld shooting. But then once you are back on DTAP power, you're back in the V-mount battery, you are charging the LPE6 battery as well. From handheld to shoulder mount to the gimbal. Now we're gonna talk about the gimbal. Unfortunately, right now, with this cage system, you really need to offset the base plate of the quick release adapter far to the left because when you put the camera onto the gimbal, uh, the this right here, you definitely need to take this off, pop this onto the Crane 2 adapter that I have, um, and then mount the motor. So there's no quick way to get on a gimbal currently with the setup. Once I figure that out, I'll definitely do a feature video just because I definitely want to utilize this camera on a gimbal, uh, get those nice moving shots and take out all of the micro jitters of walking. But the shoulder rig and handheld give you that nice natural movement. Currently, my ADD will be the gimbal setup for now. I've got the quick release adapter on there and I'll just plop it on there, plop it on the slider, plop it on the tripod. Quick release has really sped up the workflow and I love it. This external battery is powering the Nucleus Nano motor. So I went ahead and put some Velcro hook and loop uh, on the battery and on top of the V-mount and plopped it on there. So we got power right here, power here, and the shoulder pad right here. So it's a very nice system as you can see. And you can see the motors turning. As you can see the wireless follow focus. Eventually once I get a shotgun mic, a bigger shotgun mic than this, I'll mount the shotgun right here and then it'll be holding right there. So then I can power it via mini XLR through the Blackmagic Pocket 6K. Um, so there it is, guys.